to make up in my teens with Mary. I hope that today finds you well, and I hope that you're going to enjoy this video. We're going to do just an everyday work week look. Um, it's winter, so skin gets dry, hands get dry, everything else. So everything I do is based around due date. This stuff is amazing. Um, it's Lime Life by Alcone. And um, it has sunflower and palomarosa oil in it, so it smells amazing and delightful when it's on your face. Um, so, without further ado, let's get going. I have already put my primer on my face. I did actually already put a squirt of Due Date on there as well. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to start covering up the bags under our eyes, which I don't like. Um, I probably will not wear my hair back when I'm done, but to get it out of the way today, that's what we're going to do. So the concealer, remember, do as I do, not as I say. The concealer that I'm putting on right now is more closely matched with the foundation that I'm going to be wearing. You'll see here in just a little bit that we will um, put some really bright concealer under our eyes to kind of brighten that up. So this is um, just basically to help your foundation have a nice layer and just like a sheet to um, lay on so that as you start building your colors in, it's more of an even tone. And that way you're not trying to hide your eyes, the bags under your eyes, and brighten at the same time. So we're just kind of pushing that in. Okay. So let's go in with some foundation. This is a different foundation than what I normally use. Um, like I said, we're um, one of our, the girls on my team had a little bit of an issue and needed some stuff and so I sent her mine since we wear the same color. So this is um, a liquid, but that's okay. Um, it is a little more yellowy than what I particular or what I typically like, but we're gonna make it work. Because that's what all this is about, right? Making it work. Make it work, make your makeup look nice, even when faced with problems. It'd help if it came out. <laughs> I hope that everyone had a really great holiday. Um, I have been off since October, so it has been a lot of fun. I have really enjoyed it. But with a new year starts a new adventure. That's really looking yellow. That's okay. We'll fix it. Also, typically, I use a sponge just because I personally like the way the sponge um, lays the makeup down. But I think this particular one works really well with a, with a brush. So I do want to go ahead and set that in some areas relatively quickly because I can't remember how quick it settles down into... I'm eventually going to put more of the translucent setting powder on, but right now I just really want to make sure that none of that falls into those heavy creases and wrinkles that we get. Okay, so that's a pretty blank slate, right? But that's okay, because it's going to be great. We're going to, um, before I put anything else on, we're going to go ahead and go in, as I said just a minute ago, about the really light um, concealer. We're going to go put that under my eyes real quick because I want to brighten that up. I, I really don't like the yellow. I think I probably got it when I had a little bit more of a tan. But... So what was the favorite part of your holiday? What did you like the most? <laughs> No matter what you celebrated. Was it your family? Did you have family come over? Is it your first without the family? This is not blending very easily on this. Ugh. I don't like that. I'm just going to bring a little bit down this because get in here. We had um, my boyfriend's mother and sister come in. It was really fantastic. His cousins from Australia were here over the summer. Um, and so it was nice just to get... Um, everybody here, my family's still back in Texas, so um, it was just our little pod, and that was it. I think I might actually have to bring out a brush. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, let's at least get this blended some and then I will touch it back up with the bud because this is just not laying like I want it to. Okay, that's kind of there. Let's just, oh gosh. Anyway, it has been a raining mess out here. We're gonna set that with powder real quick too. So we don't lose any of the hard work we just did. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so this morning we took the two boy dogs to the baseball park and let them run around. It was so much fun. And we are responsible. We pick up after our dogs, but they had so much fun, but they were so muddy. Um, when we got back that I immediately had to give one a bath. The other one I think is going to be okay to wait a few days before he has to get a bath. But see, this is real time, y'all. This is making mistakes as we go and fixing them. And you may have these problems in the mornings. And you're going to remember, oh wait, I saw how you fix that. <laughs> okay, so I just set them really quickly in the few little spots that I know it's going to sink down into. And that's because I have um, some kind of deep wrinkles there. So next up, we're going to do um, some bronzing. And I do uh, a contour. I do mine in this order. I'll do my face first and my eyebrows and my eyes. So if you do your eyes and eyebrows first, just reverse it all. Um, but this is just how I've always done it, and I, and I like it. So, Except for the other night when I did a really lovely smoky with some blue. Mm -mm, I should have done that first before I did my face. Because <laughs> the blue that I used, it wasn't our brand. It had so much fallout. Oh my gosh. Like, not fallout in the pan. I mean, that's okay. Everybody has it. But it was fallout all over my face. <laughs> it was not pretty. Well, I still ended up pretty. But we still we had to go back and fix a lot of it. So, I'm taking this um, powdered contour, and I'm going to get down here. I want to make sure I get under my jaw, because, you know, everything I do here, and I always hashtag it over 40 makeup, because we all need, like, a safe place to go to learn all the new tricks and techniques, but we also show our age. So, everything I do is to try to eliminate that and make everything kind of bounce off of your face and your wrinkles and kind of illuminate everything and make you look younger. So, that's what we're doing. But we are making sure we get under here to um, kind of carve out our cheeks a little. It's going to be the, that part. Not the apples of your cheeks, but the part underneath. So, if you have not already gone on to Facebook, I think I'm posting this one on my YouTube. So, make sure you find us on Facebook. Like us, follow us, share us. We have little giveaways. For those who do, you get to go into a drawing for some stuff. I always like to get it up in here because I just want my whole face to look, you know, pretty. I'll take my hair down when we're done so you can see what it looks like because I'll wear it down. I don't wear it pinned back up like that. Nothing wrong with that. It's just not what I will do. I used to have a very short pixie, and I loved it. I really like that. Oh my gosh, I just hit my eye with that brush. Ah. You know, it's gonna be hard tomorrow to go to work without fake eyelashes on. Because <laughs> when you do all these vlogs, you get so used to sticking them on there, right? That it's like, mm -hmm, now I have to go to my regular lashes. What? <laughs> We're gonna be okay though. <laughs> oh, we'll know tomorrow night. I'm doing this one today because I don't know how up to doing one tomorrow I'm gonna be. So um, that's why I'm doing this. So we're gonna go in with some bronzer now. Anyway, so my pixie, I I started growing it out three years ago. Yeah, well, yeah, it'll be three years like this, March -ish. March or April. Um, I loved it. I loved my pixie. Um, and while I love the guy who does my hair, and his colors are amazing, one of my friends who did my hair for years is the one who kind of, she combined like three or four different um, haircuts that I had brought in a picture of, and it was just perfect. I would have to go back to her and be like, let's just chop it off. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna use a little highlighter, not a whole lot, just a little. Um, I'm actually just gonna put some on my little bud here, and I'm just gonna take it right in here. There is a time for dramatics, probably, um, depending on where you work, there's not always the right spot to be dramatic in. <laughs> okay, so I got that. Just gonna touch it up. I really, I really want it to be more matte. I'm trying to figure out how to make, um, because I love the illuminating effects, especially when you're, you know, when you're older. Um, I really, I really like the matte look though. So I'm trying to not use as much highlighter because even though I want to illuminate, I don't want to overdo it. So I'm going back in with just a tinge of pink on my blush. It's the O5 Blushing. That's the, it's the color. It's um, the number is O5 and the name of it is Blushing. I'm just going to get the apples and pull it right back. Not a lot. A little on my nose. Because remember, this, this foundation is a little bit different color than um, what I normally use. Oh my goodness. Get my mid there. Okay. Now, it is time for brows. I do two different colors on my brows. Um, if you are blonde, then you probably may not need to use two, um, but I would definitely start with a light. Uh, I wouldn't go like a light pale blonde color, but I would probably go with a light brown. Um, like ours have three different colors, light, medium, dark. I mix a medium and a dark. Um, if you are if you have black hair, you probably just want to do the dark. You don't necessarily need a black brow pencil. Um, if you're graying, which there's a lot of people who, who are, um, we just have the light, medium, dark, but Anastasia Beverly Hills has some gray specific tones that you could use. And if you want to do that and you want to figure out how to get that done, let me know. I have a whole video on it. I'll be happy to share it with you. And then also, as I've done with some other people, if you need like more of a one-on-one -on -one, um, video, I can do that too. Um, but for the Anastasia Beverly Hills, I actually use the dip brow, but only when I'm going for a dramatic look. Um, for me, that's just me. I like the pencil more often than not, but um, this really gives some nice depth. It this she calls this color medium. No, it's dark. I'm telling you, it's dark. Um, so go gently with the brush on that. But for me, I like using pencils because I feel like I can get the look that I want a little bit more. Sorry, I'm trying to get them ready. Um, because I will, as you'll see, I draw in just a little bit to try and give more of a fuller look. So let's start we are starting with the medium first and what i'm gonna do on this is i'm just basically i'm not gonna draw the line in yet okay i'm gonna just call um line in the bottom and the top fill it in just a smidge and then we're gonna finish it up with the dark so let me make sure i can i'm where you can see me it took me several months before i was comfortable wearing brows out in public and i think it's just because you know i'm older and I learned how to do this watching other video people and trying to put together which ones I liked um, and then mimicking it to where I thought it looked natural to wear out. It took a little bit. It took a hot minute. So don't, if you're struggling, don't feel bad. It happens to everybody. Well, maybe not everybody. There's probably some people who are just so perfectly natural at all this stuff that they don't even have to. <laughs> they probably just wake up looking amazing. But that is not me. So it took a while. I mean, you can see my brows are pretty thin. If you've seen some of my other pictures with like, I'm sorry, that really made my eye water a little go. Um, I don't have a whole lot of brow hair. Like I posted one of our, um, when I got the gold bulb, the candy apple red um, enduring lip color we had. And I posted a selfie with no makeup on other than that bright red lipstick. And I'm going to tell y'all. <laughs> You probably didn't even pick out an eyebrow hair on my face because it was so, they just are not there. So if you are like, I don't have any brows, I can't do that, girl. Okay, whomever. I can help you, I promise. Because um, I have to do the same thing. Um, it's not, <laughs> once you learn how, you're going to love it. I promise. And then you can play around with like, um, you know, the looks, the color, the depth, the thickness, the thinness, whichever one it is that you like. Um, when I first started doing them, they were pretty boxy. 
on the inside. And I, I actually don't care for the boxy. I like to have a nice, pretty feather gradient going in. So the way I do it, that's what we're aiming for. But as you can see here, and I'm so sorry if my eyes are red, but you can see here that um, <laughs> don't stick contour powder in your eye. You're contour brushing your eye with powder on it. Oh my gosh. Ah, okay. <laughs> Um, anyway, so you can see with the medium that we've gone in and we've drawn the lines and now we're going to finish it up. So I'm just going to look right over your shoulder really quick and I'm going to get this line drawn in here. And again, the whole trick is you want all of this to look really natural, right? You don't want to be somebody go, oh my gosh, did she just wake up and roll up in cake batter? No, you didn't. You woke up and you looked beautiful and then you just, you know, accentuated the beauty. In your face already so you can see little lines that I have and so now we're gonna fill it in so I do those very very last I will um, we will finish coloring in these we'll go over it with a darker brown and then we'll draw those in because I like them to be like little hairs it's fun so here we go I'm making sure y'all can see me I'm sorry make sure you comment below that you've watched this since I'm um, pre-filming um, go in there and do like a hashtag pineapples because that's my thing I love pineapples. I'm allergic to them. <laughs> um, I don't think it's an anaphylactic reaction, um, but it just, I get all these blisters in my mouth, but I'll eat it anyway. I love it. There, I'm gonna wear along. So many of the looks that I've done over the last few weeks have been geared towards holiday parties, New Year's parties, things like that, maybe your first blind date. Um, and so they've been a little more deep, deep, vivid, smoky. I personally will not go that dark to work. So this is gonna be more of a light, um, a light look. All right, so we've got those in. Now it's gonna be time to, let me get the little point out of there, to draw the middle in. And so I like, I like the pencils because I can get a little sharp, see that little sharp point to it. Um, and I take that sharp point like on a pencil, and that's what I draw them in with. So, let's go. Look, isn't it cute? It's going to have some birthday pictures. Once you figure out where you want your brows and how you like them, it's super easy. See? Look at the difference in that. This eye is not... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, yeah, big difference, I think. I'll fix that. So we're gonna we're gonna cut the creases in. I promise with um, <laughs> concealer. <laughs> I keep looking for comments because I'm so used to doing these live and I'm used to being able to chit chat with everybody as we go. So drop questions in, in comments down below so at least I can feel like I've interacted a little more than I maybe have. <laughs> okay. Here they are. Let's set them really quick with some brow gel. And I thought I had everything set out, but I did not. That's okay. Oh my gosh, my eyes. And I have this cowlick over here. You'll have to go and watch my videos. But when I was in the seventh grade, I hated it because this whole area goes boink like that. And I was always so embarrassed by it that when I was in the seventh grade, I thought I was going to give black my eyebrows. Well, I shaved them. And I shaved them all the way back to this calic. Like, here, over, right? All this was gone. Um, and my poor mother, um, I mean, she was, she probably wasn't brave enough to say anything to me. And now I see it as she probably could not have made herself stop laughing. Um, so she had my older sister say something to me. And she said, insert growing up nickname, um, I see you tried to flick your eyebrows. Would you like some help in learning how to appropriately do that? Because I think you may have taken it back a little far. Yeah, I was mortified. <laughs> and I still had, I saw it all this time that I had to wear them while they grew out. So, brow gel. So, the cowlick first off, sometimes if I don't get enough color under, underneath the, the hairs, it kind of looks, you can see it when you put the brow gel on. So... <laughs> Anyway, that's it in all its glory. Well, covered up, but 
Okay, so one of the other things that I like to do is I like to cut my brows in with a crease. So I do the top and the bottom and I use a really light um, concealer. Sometimes I use foundation, it's totally up to you. Um, this is just a look that I like and I washed all my brushes so everything's like, <laughs> we don't have anything on them yet. Oh, I'm gonna just stand by. Um, I'm gonna get right at the base of that line underneath my brow. So what plans do you have coming up in the spring? I know that um, this isn't a live video, but if you're gonna drop and, and um, say hashtag pineapples, let me know what your big plans are this spring. We're going to Paris at some point. Um, this spring, which I love. Uh, we went last year, and it was, we got to see Notre Dame before it burned, which was breathtaking. I'm so glad that we went when we did, because we actually almost went the same week that it caught on fire. Um, and, but it was so cold, y'all. So cold. And I love the cold. I mean, those of you who know me know I want to live in like six feet of snow all the time. Um, but, that was cold, and you walk everywhere there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I know y'all see exactly where that's going. It was cold. My feet were frozen, but it was a lot of fun. And um, so I'm really excited going back now. We're taking um, my Aussie's um, kid and a half. And um, so we've all come up with some things that we really want to make sure we see this time because we saw the main things, but now we want to go, like I said, I don't know, I want to go see um, the designer row on the Champs du Lai, that place. Because um, I want to see like the Jimmy Choo and Chanel and all that. Can't wait. Um, can't buy anything from there, but I can't wait. And then we debated on going to Versailles or to this one cemetery. And they're both about the same amount of time out of the city. Um, and so when last we spoke, I think we were going to do Versailles. Go have a picnic in the lawn. Um, there is a vlogger that we watch constantly. And he, oh, so real quick, I'm going to pull all of this down. And then all of this up. And you're going to use just like the inside edges of your brush to do that. So that you're kind of picking it up and pulling away like you're painting. Um, but anyway, so we watched this this vlogger. And um, we watched him. He did a vlog a day. Jay Swanson. I'm sure y'all have. Go look him up. He's, he's incredible. And um, anyway, and he in his vlog a days is a expat over in Paris on ways to get in and out of the big touristy areas, right? And so we watched and he said, this is, this is the easiest way to get into here, easiest way to get into there. And we did it and it was fantastic. So his advice on Versailles was to um, go early in the morning or mid morning. I think it was after we watched it. But you, instead of going straight to the castle, you, he urged you to wander the grounds, even if it's on a little mini bike tour, have a picnic out front and then go in because then it's not nearly as crowded. The lines aren't nearly as long. So we, I think we voted on that over the cemetery. We, we're gonna go see his author again. I'm so excited. I am so, I don't know if anybody ever would've thought they would've heard those words come out of my mouth. Um, my mouth is really dry speaking English, I'm sorry. I did remember a straw today. It's plastic, it's reusable. But anyway, um, I can't remember what day the game is on. I'm so excited. Um, during the FIFA world, my boyfriend and I had a little friendly competition, right? And so he wanted Argentina because Messi is from Argentina. Um, and I chose Brazil because there's Neymar. And so I think in the FIFA world, it ended up being um, Argentina and Brazil played each other. And the banter, it was great. So I can't wait to go um, watch the... Um, PSG game and I, Dormont, Dork, Dortmont, Dortmund, that's who they're playing. And he's shown me videos on their home games. Holy cow, y'all. Seriously. <laughs> it's insane and I cannot wait to go. So we're doing that in the spring. Um, in the fall, what well, in those lucky dogs, they're going to Australia to visit his family. And I, I wish, I don't know if he ever, ever listens, but I know that his sister and his mom do. We're trying to come up with a plan to sneak me over there for a little bit. They're going to be gone for two weeks. I, I cannot be gone for two weeks. But 
We're going to go visit the cousins and all the aunts and uncles. And uh, so they're doing that. And then in the fall, I have a huge dog show in Atlanta. Because I show dogs on top of everything. Okay, so <laughs> my eyes look so red in this video. Oh my gosh. Hang on. <laughs> For those of you who have allergies, <sighs> we're going to trudge through this, I promise. Oh my gosh. When you get one thing that bothers your eye and then it just doesn't stop, ah. Uh, Okay, we're going to give it a minute. So, we'll, we'll talk about something else. I'm trying to get it to clear up. Okay, let me show you some contour in there. Um, so, anyway, we're, we, were gonna, we were talking about going to see the catacombs, which I think would be really, really neat. But um, what I thought would be really neat was to just be able to kind of wander through and see. Um, while we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and just put some powder on my face. Um, I really wanted to go see, like, you know, the stuff that you see, the movies that are made over... Um, the catacombs, you know, and like this mysterious underworld city, underground city, all this stuff. I really wanted to see that. But after watching videos from the likes of um, the people I just mentioned, um, that's not really what you can see. It's like a line. This is what you go see. Next. You know, and it's like, yeah, that's not really what I want to do. I really wanted to go, and um, I'm just touching up my... Line. I really wanted to go see something that, you know, I would expect to see in a movie. I want to see, um, I'm trying to touch my eyeball. Um, so some other things that I would like to see while I'm there are, so I'd like to see some really old buildings and like to touch it and think somebody who was 2000 years ago had their hand here. So, it's going to be loads of fun. I, I can't wait. Traveling with him is always fun. Um, this time, I'm hoping he's a little more like that because he can be very on his schedule. But that's okay. It's one of the reasons I love him because I, unfortunately, do not adhere to his schedule. <laughs> I'm really bad at it. So, with all that said, let's put some primer on your eyes because, you know, work's still coming. My finger. Um, whether your eyes are watering or not. So this is eye primer. You can use foundation. You can also use your concealer. I have this here and I, I don't even really know if I'm going to use it tomorrow, but I always try to use it when I use a, for a bold look because it really is, um, the shadows and stuff really latch onto it, which is good because then they hold their color better. That was fun. We're splicing. But anyway, um, I use the primer because on some of the bolder colors that I use, it just holds on and latches on. It's not really like a hairspray for your, for your shadow, but it maybe it kind of is in a little way. So, I don't know how I'm going to splice all these together. We're going to figure it out, though. And for those of you who are counting, InShot only goes up to 30 minutes. Okay. Stuff's moved around after my eyes been watering like crazy. Okay, I think we got it in place. What I do here is I then go in with we have a color called Cream Boat, and um, it's just this lovely, um, even cream. It's not. It's not. It's a matte. Let me get all my words out. <laughs> that. That video stopping just kind of threw me in a, like a, oh my gosh, what happened? Because I normally do lives, and when I do that, um, that doesn't happen. But anyway, so I'm going to put this all over my lid. And this is probably not the best brush to do this with, but we're going to go ahead and just, and you can feel it getting tacky, but by doing this, and see, a little paper got wrinkles on her eyes too. By doing this, um, it helps while... It still holds on to all of the colors. It helps have a smoother finish when you put your shadow on. I'm probably still going to film with this out tomorrow. Nope, we're not. I'm going to claim it now. <laughs> okay, so 
This is the top I'm likely going to wear, and so I would probably, everything's going to be nice and warm tones. Um, I've got my ruby chocolate lipstick out, which is this beautiful thing. Um, so let's see. I have some colors set out. <clears throat> if I can get them to work. So don't forget, you're, everybody's not watching. Everybody's watching this on the replay. So hashtag pineapples when you hop on and you see it. That'll be fun. I am going to try and do a live tomorrow night, but we will have to wait and see how the new job goes. I think it's going to go great. But if anybody else is like me, the first day of a new job is very stressful. Like I'm petrified. What's it going to be like? How are people going to be? Are they going to be nice? Or am I going to be by myself? Am I going to have anybody to talk to? You know, those kinds of things. Real, real world problems there, right? Okay. All right. So. And every one of you come right over here. Okay. I'm going to go in with a little, uh, it's not that, is it the pineapple of my eye? I'll have to look up the numbers. I will, I will look them up and list them. It's the pineapple one. I think it's a 35 maybe. <laughs> They'll all be listed below in the description when, um, when you go to click on it. And I, I don't always, well, yeah, I do. So I always typically do some form of a neutral color in my crease. So I have hooded, um, hooded eyes. And I, it may be hard to tell, but I do. And so I tend to try and make my crease go up and give the illusion of having a higher crease with more eye space. And so setting with this caramel color... Uh, number one is going to go well with any kind of mauve that we put on there, but helps to kind of work on that crease that we're trying to create. Oh my goodness. And so on this one, I'm just going to tap, tap. This is the mauve, and I'll have to look up the colors. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to tap it in before I blend. Kind of stipple it in. And that's typically when I do my foundation with a sponge or my concealer any of it because I love love cream contour um I stipple in before I really don't even rub it I just stipple stipple and blend pick it up put it where you want it okay we're gonna keep okay so picking up a little more now we're just kind of blending so I don't really know how vivid I want to go, so I'm trying to make sure that I stay kind of neutral and light. Um, so I'm still picking up this mob and I'm pulling it up over here. And so when I work on my eyes, I kind of make like a six. You're just going to pull and swirl, pull and swirl. This is the matte purple from the, you could do it in the Danissa Myrix, Myrix palette. Um, the mauve that I'm using right now is, is closely matched to that. Okay, so I have a tab in here that I'm swirling excess on. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of move this around in my six. Okay, so see, we've created quite the crease, if I may say so. Water. Okay, not done. I'm just going to bring it barely on the lid, because we are going to put some shimmer on top of that. So, um, it does not bother me if it is on there. It's coming out dark. That's okay. We'll fix it though. Um, I have a blender. 
So I have been so accustomed to working just like six miles down the road from my house. And um, this one's going to be all the way like 20 miles away, uh, 20 minutes away, depending on traffic, I guess. But I got a little anxiety going about that. Am I going to be able to, you know, make it on time? I know I will. I mean, that's not a, that's not up for debate. All right, so this is just some gold school shimmer that I'm just going to stick on there. And we're blending. All of this is layers. Layers. They are your friend. They will treat you well. They are my friend gang. And this is what happens when I wash all my brushes. <laughs> I can't find them. Like, what? Mm -mm. Okay. Now I'm going to add Look at that, isn't that pretty? I love it. My color is actually called Sazzy. It is so versatile. It is not a lime life shadow, but it's it blends so well with so many of the colors that I do that I just can't let go of it. I keep using it. <laughs> So remember, we're doing this and we're taking it up a little higher because we're creating more of a crease and we really just kind of want to make sure our eyes are nice and opened up. There is a color that I am looking for. It's going to be right here. Okay, so if you watched my other videos, you know I hate, I don't do liquid liner. <laughs> um, there's not a lot of fallout. There's some there. But I will do um, a nice dark. We gotta, we gotta do that. Hang on. I want to open up the inside of my eyes a little more. And I just had that brush and I've already lost it. Really? This is actually um, the Sweet Dreams. It is very shimmery, but I like putting it there in the corner because it just kind of opens up your eyes. Look at that. Okay. Now let's line. I'm going to do a dark brown. Um, I don't know where my brush went. Oh, that did not. That did not blend well. Mm. Well, we're going to have to deal with it. Okay, so, brown. This is, um, and I've lost my mirror. Y'all, really, what's happening? Everything's just going wrong. So, this is Nirvana. It is a really dark, oh, excuse me, burning points. It's a really lovely dark. Um, I hear the dogs. Those are not ours. They're our neighbors. Not that mine are angels because they are not. They are jerks. <laughs> so I'm getting angry. Um. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get to sleep before midnight tonight. I have, I am naturally a night owl. And so I am typically naturally wide awake at midnight. 
it's bad. I'm gonna have to figure that out pretty quick. Um, even last night when I tried, I was I still couldn't get to bed until midnight. I'm gonna put just a little on here on the bottom. We're gonna smudge that out with some other colors. So. Check. And this is um, the same color that I used on my line, my liner. Okay, I'm going to throw some lipstick on before we get ready to do the brows because I want to make sure we have plenty of time to sit and enjoy it. And where did that one go? I found it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I'm going to line them really quick. Um, I do line with a nude, like a dark nude. And then... Um, Okay, ready chocolate. It is that good. And this stuff is like better. Oh! Save the lipstick. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. We've got to do brows. So my eyelashes, I mean, not brows, eyelashes. My eyelashes are short and straight. So I use a little uh, warmer that I got on Amazon. It doesn't get very hot, but it does just enough of the trick to kind of give it a little bit of body and curl. Um, like I said, I will not wear my fake lashes to work. Do you ever stop and think of the funny faces that you make while you're doing this particular task? It's very funny. I've come back and watched videos and I'm like, eyes everywhere. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> but just looking at my expression, you would think, oh my gosh, that woman is plucking all of her hair out with that eyelash curler. Okay, got that set done. Now we gotta go back in with the electric thing, and this one just you can always tell it's warm when it turns the this part turns white. So I do it at the base and I hold it for about I don't know, five or ten seconds, I guess. As long as you're holding the button forward, it stays on. And then I go halfway up and curl it just a little bit more. Nice. A lot of t-shirts and stuff go back tomorrow. 
bless your hearts. Yeah, we're all right there. So I'm starting a new job, and y'all are coming off of Christmas break. <laughs> okay, I think that is enough building up. I just literally had it. Okay. I think my jar's saying anything, but I'm not live. Can you hear my stomach going? <laughs> Okay, pop layer, and we have the bottom. Never forget the bottom lashes. Not dipping back in, flipping it right over to the other side. You don't need a whole lot on the bottom ones, in my opinion. It's never complete without a second. Second pass. <laughs> Y'all have to let me know what you think. How you've liked it. Oh, that's just not dead. That's got to come out. Okay, I think we're done. Oh, here, wait. As promised, let me get my hair down real quick. Zoom up real quick. Ready? One, two, three. Here we go. Real thing. Make sure you are hashtag pineappling. Um, on the replay, let me know. Um, let me know if you've tried any of this. If you like it, if you have any other questions, just let me know. Y'all have a wonderful day, and don't forget to go find makeup and martinis with Mary. It's an apostrophe in not the word and, and Mary is with an I M A R I. Um, find it, like us, follow it, share it. Um, I usually do a live video almost every night. Um, I have all kinds of different makeup things and fun things to do. So if you have something that you want me to try. And um, let me know. Be more than happy to fix it in. All right. Bye, y'all.